Thank you, Chairman. Thank you for the floor. This is a good day for the European Parliament and for the European Commission as to the struggle against match fixing. What we heard from the rapporteur and from the Commission are wise words. They are well chosen and timely words. What we really need now is to gear up in our fight against match fixing. The rapporteur said as much as did the Commissioner. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Everybody says that this is the basis of the whole sports world that is threatened if we if we don't fight match fixing it's controlled from Asia through the Balkans and moving north so we are all threatened by match fixing and organized crime and it is a threat undermining the entire sports world so we need cooperation between everybody on a global level but also in the European Union let's look at the European interests in, in this particular file because many of the big sports events take place in Europe such as football matches and we need to keep the integrity that sport still represents in Europe. I'm very pleased with the resolution from the European Parliament, I'm very pleased with the debate, there are a lot of good proposals coming in and I agree with Ivo Bellet, it's very important to exchange experience, to have some sort of headquarters where you can collect all the experience. The problem, the biggest problem now is that they don't know in one country what happens in the neighboring country. And I think we can do that without violating our subsidiarity principle. So that is my case to the Commissioner. And thank you, Commissioner, for your initiative and uh, the cooperation you promised. Uh, it looks promising. This is a good day for the match-fixing match fight. Yes.